Hi everybody, Samantha Shriver, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator coming to you today with a mini unboxing video of the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. I wanted to do this unboxing video and show you guys a little bit about this machine. We are going to run a standard die cut, a regular embossing folder, and a 3D embossing folder through the machine. And I'll show you how to do all of those and which plates to use and, and show you how the machine works. I do have the standard um, cut and emboss machine, which I absolutely love. So this is going to make a great companion to that. And I'll keep this mini one on my desk so it's within, with, within reach when I have little things that I need to cut and emboss. It's also the perfect time to show you guys because January 1st when celebration starts, Stampin' Up! is doing three sign-on special deals, two of which include this new Stampin' Cut and, well, it's not new, but include the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. It's just new to me, so I'm saying new. <laughs> so, the, for option one, you will get the exclusive Boho Blue Mini uh, Machine, which is a $63 value. So that's the same machine, but it's in a new um, color that Stampin' Up! is coming out with that's called um, Boho Blue. So you get that Boho Blue Machine plus your choice of $175 of Stampin' Up! products for only $129. Option two is the same option, except you get the white mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is that, which is what I got. I just like the like crisp clean of the white and the gray, and I love how it matches my standard stamp and cut and emboss machine. So I chose to get the white one. So it's the same thing. You get the machine plus $175 worth of Stampin' Up! products for only $129. And just to put that into perspective, Stampin' Up!'s normal um, sign up offer is for $99 plus, um, plus tax free shipping. You choose up to $125 worth of Stampin' Up! products for that $99. So that's what I signed up with. Um, a couple times a year, they'll have some additional starter um, kit offers where they include extra things. I didn't wait for that because I just knew at that time that that's when I wanted to sign up with Stampin' Up! So I didn't wait. But this is a great deal. So you have those two options. And then the third option is for only $99.00 plus tax-free shipping, you can choose up to $175 worth of product. So that's what I signed up with, but I only got $125 worth of product. You'll get $175 worth of product of your choice. So that is a great sign-up deal. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. This was the perfect time. Also, I would love to have you as a part of my Seaside Stampers team. We're a small group of stampers. We do have an active Facebook group where we um, can connect and post tutorials and things going on with Stampin' Up! and keep in touch with each other. So I just wanted to let you guys know about my team and our group as well. We would love to have you as a part of our group. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to um, go over anything with the sign up special that's coming up um, January 5th or any information about my team. I also, um, if you don't mind liking this video and subscribing to my channel, you'll be alerted to when my new video tutorials come out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. Okay, I just wanted to adjust this up for you so you can see better. And here is um, the packaging with all of our plates for our machine. And here it is and it is absolutely adorable how cute is that so easy to carry so lightweight hardly takes up any space at all on my desk this will be perfect folds open I want to show you guys the size difference between this one and my regular one so let me grab that So this is my big stamp and cut and emboss machine. And then you can see the size difference between that one and the little one. This one does have some different details to it um, with these strips. And then also the embossing is different 
you have your feet on this one, which I have a die cut stuck to <laughs> that I cut out. This one, you have a logo that's just printed on, but you do have the same feet and everything on the bottom. This is so much more lightweight, but this one is really, I mean, this one's easy to carry and lightweight too. This was the best purchase I made. I love this so much. So I just wanted to show you guys that so you guys can see the differences in the size of these. So this one will definitely be staying on my desk. I'll show you guys that as well. So I wanna show you, um, I'm gonna open this up. And we have our plates. I'm gonna open this up and we'll look at all these. It comes with all the same plates as your um, larger Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine does. This one only cuts dies that I believe are up to two and a half inches, I believe, in size. But they're marked in your catalog, which dies will work with the mini machine. So we have our plate one, which is our standard base plate. We also have our plate for our embossing folders. This one I believe is for our 3D, yep, 3D embossing folders. And this is for our standard embossing folders, since those are different sizes. And then we have our two clear plates. I wanted to try out the machine um, doing a die cut using a regular embossing folder and a 3D embossing folder with you. So I cut a piece of paper that's three inch width by four inch length. And then I'm gonna use one of the labels from the Labels of Glow die. I really like this label, so I thought this would be perfect to do the first cut with. And there's nothing like die cutting on a brand new plate. <laughs> I love it. So we are going to put these together. Now I have heard some people say they had issues with it going right through. I'm not having much issue right now. Sometimes they say the machine won't grab. So a lot of times what people will do is they'll stagger the plates a little bit instead of having them like that. And when they stagger them, that helps. But mine went right through. And that's beautiful. I also wanted to give you one more tip that I saw from a demonstrator online. If you are having issues with your die going through, you can use your plate three instead of your plate one. Your plate three is a little bit thinner. You can use that. Use your clear cutting plate. And then your other cutting plate on top. And they've had luck with that just going right through. And it does go through a lot smoother, a lot easier and a lot quicker. So that's another idea if you wanted to try that. And it looks like it cuts it out just as nice. Just to, I think because it's not as thick, a couple of the little pieces got kept in, so you'd have to punch it out. But that's a great alternative if you are having issues with getting your plates um, to go through for your die cutting. So next we'll try one of our standard embossing folders. I'm gonna open this up. And for this, we are going to use our plate one. We're gonna use our embossing folder. Put our paper inside. And then the hinge, which is the unopened end, you're gonna put that first. 
And then we're gonna use our number three standard embossing plate on top. And then we're just gonna run those through. And that gives us a beautifully embossed piece. Then next we can do our 3D embossing folders. So I wanna do this snowflake one. For this, we're gonna do our plate one. We're gonna have our folder, put our paper in, hinge side first, and then we're gonna use our plate four, which is our 3D embossing um, folder plate. We're gonna put that on top. And then we're just gonna run this through. And these are all running through very easily. And then we have our beautiful 3D embossed image. So I just wanted to show you guys all of the plates and how they all work. This is a very cute machine. It's definitely, like I said before, it is going to stay right here on my desk with me. So when I have any smaller items I need to emboss or die cut, I can just do that easy without having to walk across the um, room to use my other machine. I mean, which really isn't that big of a deal either, but hey, if this is right here, I'm gonna use this quick. If you guys have any questions, um, please drop them below. I'd be more than happy to answer. And just remember with the um, sign on special in um, January, starting January 5th, you can get this item as a part of your starter kit. I hope that everybody has a great rest of their weekend.